Hello XXS Squad, and today in this video, we will be doing a Minecraft building tutorial. So every now and then I'll do Roblox, Minecraft, Roblox, Minecraft. It won't be an exact pattern, but I'll be doing different stuff every now and then. So for this video, I will be teaching you how to make this beautiful, and I mean beautiful, it may not be beautiful, but I call it like a little base. It's just kind of cool looking and I thought it would be fun to make. So I made it a while ago and now I'm just recreating it and I'm really excited about it. So to start us out, you may you will probably want to go into creative because this involves a lot of diamond and sand. So um, excuse me if I am having troubles like getting some of the stuff because I mean like, well like get doing everything because this is the first time playing Minecraft on a computer for me and it may be a bit tough because it's far different than playing Minecraft on an iPod, iPad and everything else, okay? So let's see, we have, so we have nine. Okay, so first off, we'll start off by laying nine blocks. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of mobs. Okay, so I'll just go over here and lay nine Oh my gosh, okay, so now I'll just start laying nine pieces of diamond. So four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm sorry, nine. Now if we go back over here, we'll have some diagonals to do. So three, okay, so seven diagonals. So now we go diagonal seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. So one. Okay, so after that, after our seven, so we have, we'll do another nine, <clears throat> and then we'll keep doing this pattern until they meet up. So go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll go ahead and get, okay, so this is what your, this is exactly what your, what's it called, base of what we're going to be building should look like. So if you don't have that, then you can pause this video and then just copy it and build it. Okay, so now, Okay, I just wanted to get a bit lower. There we go. So now we have to go up. So on all of the nine, we'll have to go up four. So this is just a step-by-step -step tutorial. It may take a bit. So, oh, hang on. Okay, so one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now that we got all that done, your base should look kind of sort of like this. Basically a normal base with columns of four or five, well, yeah, normal columns of five on each flat surface, starting out the diagonals. Now we'll start to go diagonal up. We'll go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight okay so we'll start to go diagonal up eight 
So I'll just go ahead and basically teach you how to do that if you don't know how to. So this step can be kind of complicated um, if you don't know how to do it. To me it was kind of actually com complicated the first time I did it. So you get, I already have three. Hang on, I may, I'm just gonna have to go check it out again. One, two, six seven eight okay so yes the sun started to set so if you guys don't like to work through the night you can if you know how to you can change it to day but i don't know how to because this is like a brand new device i'm playing on so three so you just put a block there put a block there and then put a block on top of that get rid of that block or you could put a block on top of it and get into that and get rid of that so yeah there are multiple ways to do that so one two three four five okay six seven eight there we go so now you'll just want to repeat this step over and over and over so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and we'll put this in a fast motion Oh no! Okay guys, there's an enderman that just spawned, like right there. There's so many mobs. So yeah, um, if you were in survival, wouldn't be a, exactly a good time to be building. Just saying. Okay, back to fast forward. Okay, so I just want to show you guys something. All the corners, you just continue on until they meet up together, just like this. And when they meet up, you just stop with the corners. You just stop with those, leave them alone, and then continue on to the rest. That's a sign that tells you that you're done with that. Because you don't want to make this too high or you don't want to make this too low. Okay, so now we have all four, well, all eight of the diagonals complete. So the base is almost complete and then we can start adding glass. But you're gonna wanna fly all the way up. If you don't wanna fly, you can just, well, I don't see any reason why you should not fly because if you do not fly, then it just gets in more complex. So now, you basically just fill it in. So, all you need to do is, oh my, okay, so you need to connect all four of them by just a strand of diamonds and then you need to fill it in. So, just like this. Okay, so now it should look sort of like this. It should look sort of like a tic-tac-toe board if you like playing tic-tac-toe. And oh my gosh, there is a lot of bats around my little fort. I don't know what it is with bats, but you may have some bat problems if you are building this, just saying. Please don't say I'm ripping you off because I warned you. There are bat problems with this thing. Okay, so now, you just need to fill all this hole in. So let's get started. Oh. 
All right, so now we have that done. Now that that is complete, we can start adding the glass and then we can start doing decor and then we can start doing everything. So I don't, this bunker would be a really cool bunker to just have. But in survival, if bats harm you, which I'm not sure if they do or not, but if bats harm you in survival, this would not be a good survival house. But it is really cool that you can just show off to your friends, hey, look at this. This is a really cool bunker I made or fort. So yes, this is like the most awesome fort probably ever. Okay, so. Now I just wanted to show you how the glass is because the glass is pretty difficult. Difficult. So first off, we're gonna start by making all of the diagonal glass. Cause the diagonal glass is probably the trickiest. But the, but the bottom part of the glass is really easy. The bottom four blocks are really easy. So all you do for the bottom four blocks of the diagonal or not the bottom floor, four blocks, but the bottom blocks for diagonal, for the diagonal blocks, you just wanna build them up. And then there you go. And then you just wanna do that to every single one. But make sure you build all of these, all of these diagonal blocks only up to the height of the diamonds before they start going diagonal or else everything will go wrong and it won't be as cool. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we got that done. I guess this is pretty attractive to slime blobs as well. Look at all this, okay. Okay, so since we finished that part, now is a good time to start the complex part because this is like a really complex part. Okay, so now we just have to keep going diagonal. So you basically put a block behind it and then break the block. Block behind this one, Put a block there, break it. And then now you just gotta do this until you get all the way up there. And then you gotta do that for all the diagonals. But then at the end, it looks really cool. So I truly think it's worth it. It may be kind of fun to you guys doing this, but to me, not so much. Ah, no. Okay, there we go. I love building Minecraft though, it's really fun. So we're getting higher and higher, and as we get higher, the less we have to do. So now we are just doing very few zigzags. Okay, hang on, hang on. I just realized that these are like, I mean, like villagers. What are you doing? Hey, I don't want you here. Excuse me, sir, I don't want you here. These are like those mean villagers that I don't like. Haha! <laughs> you can't escape now. What do I get from you? Nothing? Okay. I'll just go ahead and patch that grass block up. Yeah, so guys, um, also, never get lost. Um, if you are in survival, I would try and make a map. And if you get lost in survival on accident, well, um, I mean, like, I'm sorry, because, I mean, like, that's just sad. You worked really hard on your home. That's why I don't really go super far. Cause me and my friend, um, we had a sleepover and we stayed up till like 12 playing Minecraft. But yeah, we made a really good house in survival. And we, yeah, it was really good. I got lost from it once. I died during the night 
and yeah just try to never lose your house because i mean like it's really sad when you do and yeah i just like i really regret getting lost because i was out getting sand so we can have glass windows like the things we're building with right now and i lost like my sword my pickaxe and my sh no not my shovel my sword my pickaxe and my axe and a ton of sand but anyways they were all wooden so that was only because we ran out of swords pickaxes and axes because we do so much mining chopping trees and fighting skeletons so yes that is the story so let's just continue on and get all this glass all filled in so we can finish this building process all right so i i believe we have gotten yes we've gotten all four of them done now the tic-tac-toe board should basically look just like an old tic-tac-toe board thing with diamond in the middle of it and cobwebs on all the corners okay so now i will teach you how to do the four non corners i'll call them so i'm just gonna go ahead and drop down Woo! okay boy these mobs sure do not like me they just want to try and invade my house okay so now we just do the same thing we did for the diagonals start off by filling this in okay so this one i'm not going to do in fast motion because maybe a bit complex like the first diagonal so now we just fill that in there we go so this one's actually a sorry so this one's actually a bit less complex i actually wouldn't say a bit it's far less complex than the diagonals are because all you really do oh my gosh i'm still getting used to this minecraft what did i do i threw the glass on the floor now that would break glass guys so if you're at home please do not try that in real life please do not try to throw and shatter glass so now you basically just go from diamond to diamond filling it in with glass and it's actually quite easy it's an easy process and then we can get to decorating so i'm just gonna do one more as an example and then i will start doing fast motion Alrighty. oh no there we go okay so there we go there's the example All right, so we got the first one done. All right, I am officially done with all the glass. It's a good feeling. Yippee. Now you get to choose the front of your base. All right, so now, hello, get out. Get away. Yeah, you heard me, get away, get away, get away. There we go. Okay, why did I click that? So now you just wanna make it in the center. It's four blocks down. Okay, there we go. And I'm just putting pressure plates because yet and I still do not know how to open doors on computers. And plus I download Minecraft just to play some and to film some videos for you guys. So you are officially done with your house thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it and i actually really enjoyed making this this was a really fun thing to build and now you can show off to your, all your friends saying look what i just built in minecraft it's the best bunker ever now guys remember subscribe to xoxo gaming give us a thumbs up 
and make sure to join the XX Squad in Roblox. Um, so yeah, and also go ahead and check out our merch site. I'm not wearing a merch right now, but go ahead and check out the merch site, tictactoystore.com. You'll get XOXO -XO Squad merch, XOXO -XO Squad beanies, Tic Tac Toy bags, Tic Tac Toy t shirts, Tic Tac Toy pillows, Tic Tac Toy blankets, Tic Tac Toy basically everything, Tic Tac Toy backpacks for school. So, yes, you can get practically everything. So, have a nice day, XOXO. -XO.